Ladies and gentlemen, please stand. Their Excellencies, the Right Honourable Dame Patsy Reddy, Governor General of New Zealand, and Sir David Gascoigne. I specifically acknowledge Dr. Deborah Russell, Parliamentary Under Secretary, and our Kuia Ranui Narimu, our Komatua Joe Harawera Tena Koutou. And I offer a very special welcome to today's honour recipients. Today we bring together seven honour recipients, along with their family and friends, to recognise the contributions they've made to our country. As Governor General, I have the authority and the privilege, on behalf of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth, the Queen of New Zealand, to hold investitures for her and to confer royal honours, our nation's highest honours, on individuals who've made exceptional contributions to their communities and to our nation. Hosting an investiture ceremony is the most important duty I perform as Governor General, as it enables me to recognise and thank them on behalf of all New Zealanders for helping to make Aotearoa New Zealand a better place to live. Some recipients today have a national public profile, others are well known in their own communities, but what they have in common is the positive impact they've had on the economic, environmental, social or cultural well-being of our nation. I hope this will be a memorable day for you and for your family and friends who have come to witness your investiture and celebrate with you. Ladies and gentlemen, as each recipient comes forward, I invite you to join me in thanking and congratulating them for their service to our country. Now, Ward Carmel will read our citations for each recipient and invite them to come forward to receive their insignia. Your Excellency, to receive the insignia of a companion of the New Zealand Order of Merit, Mr. Rob Fife of Auckland, for services to business and tourism. Rob Fife is the former CEO of Air New Zealand. He was a key driver of recognising the victims of the Erebus and Perpignan tragedies. He oversaw Air New Zealand's provision of cheap and flexible flights in and out of Christchurch after the 2011 earthquake. He served as independent advisor to government on the Pike River Drift re-entry. He is former general manager of the Bank of New Zealand, chief operating officer of ITV Digital and CEO and chairman of Icebreaker. He has been a director of Jula Michael Hill International Trilogy International and Antarctica New Zealand, Chairman of the CEO Board of Star Alliance and part of the International Air Transport Association Board of Governors. Mr Fife is a Director of Hammerforce and Advisor to Craggy Range. Mr Rob Fife, please come forward.
Your Excellency, to receive the insignia of an officer of the New Zealand Order of Merit, Mrs Chloe Wright of Tauranga, for services to philanthropy, education and health. Chloe Wright and her husband co-established the Wright Family Foundation, which she leads as CEO without remuneration. The foundation provides funds and assistance to improve the educational, emotional and psychological well-being of New Zealanders. It currently supports more than 25 innovative projects and organisations in areas including birthing and postnatal care for women, early childhood development, child health and education initiatives, improving literacy, environmental programmes with a youth mentoring focus and family mentoring. She is founder and director of Birthing Centre, which offers extensive postnatal support. She co-founded Best Start Educare, New Zealand's largest early learning education organisation with 270 centres and around 20,000 children attending as of March 2020. Mrs Wright is patron of Supergrands Aotearoa, Wrightmark Plain English Awards Trust, Kids Lit Quiz, and the New Zealand Spelling Bee. Mrs Chloe Wright, please come forward. Your Excellency, to receive the insignia of a member of the New Zealand Order of Merit, Ms Sheena Cameron of Auckland, for services to education. Sheena Cameron taught in low decile primary schools in Gisborne and South Auckland. She then taught at the University of Auckland and was Director of Kohia Education Centre before becoming an education expert, publishing resources and hosting education workshops for teachers. She produced three books, including Teaching Reading Comprehension Strategies, before co-establishing Essendell Publishing and co-authoring a further three books. One dollar from the sale of each book has been donated to charities The Malala Fund and I Am Hope, and a fully funded writing project to support Cook Island teachers. Ms Cameron has presented at New Zealand Literacy Association national conferences and international educators conferences. Ms Sheena Cameron, please come forward. Mr Paul Crowther of Auckland for services to music. Paul Crowther invented a guitar pedal called the Hot Cake when he was the drummer in the New Zealand band Split Ends. The distortion pedal, which is handmade by Mr Crowther and his wife Jo, is used in New Zealand and internationally. 
Mr Crowther is a mainstay of the live New Zealand music scene, having mostly worked in the industry behind the scenes to support other musicians. He has designed, installed and maintained sound equipment for many individuals and music venues. He toured extensively as the sound engineer for Don McLashan's The Mutton Birds. He also repairs electronic musical instruments and offers technical advice and assistance, often without recompense. Mr Paul Crowther, please come forward. Mr Chris Morrison of Auckland for services to sustainable business and fair trade. Chris Morrison co-founded Phoenix Organics, a beverage company and all good New Zealand's first fair trade banana business. He then launched Karma Cola, a fair trade and organic range of soft drinks now available in more than 20 countries. Alongside the Karma Cola arm of all good organics, is the Karma Cola Foundation, which donates money from every bottle sold to community and sustainable development projects in developing nations. Mr Morrison has promoted fair trade throughout local communities in support of Fair Trade New Zealand's Fair Trade Fortnight and by donating drinks and bananas to community groups for events and fundraisers. He currently chairs the Board of Organics Aotearoa New Zealand. Mr Chris Morrison, please come forward. Your Excellency, to receive the Queen's Service Medal, Mrs Gill Adshead and Mr Kevin Adshead of Walkworth for services to conservation. Gill and Kevin Adshead began their Mataya restoration project undertaking pest control on her family farm. Today, 400 hectares is being restored to native bushland and they plant around 7,500 native trees annually. Corridors of native bush and stream banks have been replanted to provide safe passage for wildlife, allowing for the return of kiwi to Mataya. Mr and Mrs Adshead supported the Catch IT, Catch It Schools program and have worked alongside Ngā Maunga Hokahi or Kaipara to establish trap lines across Maunga o Atuanui. They have served with volunteer service abroad and Duffy Books in Homes. Mrs Gill Adshead and Mr Kevin Adshead, please come forward.
Excellency, the investiture has concluded. Our honour system is our nation's highest public affirmation of outstanding individual achievement. It reinforces values and behaviours that sustain our communities and help our nation thrive and prosper. And these include service, courage, manaakitanga, and the pursuit of knowledge and excellence. By using their talents to make ours a better society, whether by service to their communities or by their leadership in diverse fields of endeavour, or their commitment to excellence in their own area of expertise, our recipients have set a fine example to others. To the recipients, it's been a real privilege to hear your stories today. You've demonstrated determination, commitment and compassion in your daily lives. In your own way, each of you has helped make Aotearoa New Zealand a better place. In some cases, your influence and the positive impact of your work has extended beyond our shores. Your actions and the stories we've heard remind me of the words of another great New Zealander, uh, Sir Paul Callaghan, who said, what greater sense of fulfilment can there be but to make a difference to the community in which you live? It's hard to make a difference in New York. Here, everything you contribute makes a visible difference. On behalf of all New Zealanders, I thank you for the difference you've made in helping to make Aotearoa New Zealand a better place for all of us, whether by dedicating your lives to the public good, achieving distinction in your chosen field, or inspiring others with your leadership. Please wear your insignia with pride, knowing that your contributions are recognised and valued and others are inspired by your leadership. Kia ora hui hui tātou katoa. Ladies and gentlemen, that almost brings to a close the formal part of today's ceremony. But before we break, may I ask you to stand and join me in singing our national anthem.